Join Kids Hat Family. Ah, oh, I look like a potato. Ha <laughs> ha, you look fine. It's finally Halloween tomorrow. I am so excited to collect candies. And dressing up is my favorite part. Hey Tia, how about a Halloween story? Are you guys sure? Because this one is a pretty spooky one. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Jack, you already sound so scared. Okay, boys. Here's the story. The Midnight Scarecrow. Once upon a time, in a peaceful little town surrounded by fields of golden wheat, there was a legend that sent shivers down the spines of children every Halloween night. It was the story of the Midnight Scarecrow. The Midnight Scarecrow was unlike any other. He stood tall in Farmer Johnson's field, overlooking the village, and during the day, he was an ordinary, friendly scarecrow with a patched hat and a friendly smile stitched on his face. However, when the moon rose high in the night sky, he would come to life. And his purpose was not to protect the crops from crows, but to teach children an important lesson about bedtime. Tick tock, tick tock. It's 12 o'clock. I see you up, little boy. I am coming to get you. You see, the midnight scarecrow had a peculiar rule. All children must be in bed by midnight. He believed that a good night's sleep was crucial for their well-being and he watched over the village diligently to ensure his rule was followed. As Halloween approached, the children were filled with excitement. They eagerly planned their costumes and anticipated the night of trick-or-treating. But they had heard stories of the Midnight Scarecrow's rule and they knew they should not stay awake past midnight. Friends, we must be back home and in our beds before 12 a.m. Ha <laughs> ha, you are scared of the Midnight Scarecrow. Wait until the Midnight Scarecrow gets you. On Halloween night, the moon hung low in the sky casting an eerie glow over the village. The children roamed the streets in their costumes, collecting candies from friendly neighbours. But as the night wore on, some of the children grew curious and rebellious. They thought that staying away past midnight would be a thrilling adventure and they wanted to test the legend of the Midnight Scarecrow for themselves. Hey guys, I want to prove that the Midnight Scarecrow is just a story to scare us. Is anybody ready to join me to check it? You have lost your mind, Sarah. I am going home. Yeah, me too. I don't want to get into any kind of trouble. Good night. Hey Sarah, I'm ready for the adventure. Me too. Let's see. As the clock struck midnight, the village fell silent. The children who had obeyed the rule headed home to bed, their treat bags filled with candies and their hearts full of excitement. However, a small group of daring children decided to stay awake. They huddled together, giggling and daring each other to see who could stay up the longest. They knew the Midnight Scarecrow was watching, but they believed it was just an old legend. But as the minutes ticked by, the air grew colder and a faint rustling sound filled the night. It was the Midnight Scarecrow coming to life. With a slow, eerie movement, the Scarecrow stepped off his post and began to approach the group of children. His eyes glowed a ghostly shade of blue and his stitched smile 
turned into a solemn frown. Oh no! It's true. The midnight scarecrow came to life. The children who had been laughing and joking moments before fell silent. They couldn't move, trapped in a mixture of fear and curiosity. The midnight scarecrow spoke with a voice as gentle as the night wind. Children, it's time for bed. A good night's sleep is essential for your health and happiness. You must obey the rules. The children nodded, their eyes wide with understanding. They had learnt their lesson. The midnight scarecrow was not there to harm them. He was here to teach them the importance of sleep. Good night, sweet little kids. With a wave of his straw-filled hand, the midnight scarecrow bid them good night and returned to his post in Farmer Johnson's field. The children rushed home, their hearts pounding with a newfound appreciation for the value of sleep. They realized that Halloween was a time for fun and excitement, but it was also important to take care of themselves. From that Halloween onward, the children of the village respected the Midnight Scarecrow's rule and went to bed on time. The clock is about to strike 12. I want to go to bed. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Jack! Uh, let's go to sleep. Good night, guys. <laughs> oh, boys, I'm sorry. I guess I scared you all. For your favorite rhymes, stories, and more, join Kids Hat Family. Subscribe here.